Okay, calculating equilibria concentrations, aka rice and dirty rice. Um, I'm just going to introduce this really fast. You need to take a minute or two and read over both the targets and the information on this first page. The gist of what we will be doing is calculating equilibrium concentrations when we don't necessarily know what, our, uh, what we are, are working with. So it's going to require a balanced equation, it's going to require setting up the equilibrium expression, and then it's going to require this wonderful thing called rice, which is the balanced reaction, so that's R. I is the initial concentrations, C is the change that's taking place, and E is the in equilibrium concentrations. So take a couple of minutes now and go ahead and pause the movie and read the rest of this page. All right, let's take a look at our first example. It's calculating equilibrium pressures part one. For this example, we don't actually need to use the rice um, equation or the rice setup, but let's go ahead and just go ahead and go through it together anyway. Take a moment to read the question. Okay, in this scenario, we have a balanced equation. We have a KP value. We can write a KP expression. And we have the partial pressure of one of the substances. So I'm going to start off by writing my KP expression, which is going to be P of NO2 squared over P of N2O4. Then I'm going to plug in what I know and solve for the missing part. So the unknown is the NO2 portion. KP is 0 0.133 equals PNO2 is 2.71 atmospheres. Oops, sorry. Try again. KP is 0.133. There we go. P of NO2 is what I'm looking for. And P of N2O4 is 2.71 atmospheres. So at this point, I can just cross multiply. 0.133 times 2.71. That gives me 0 0.36043 equals P of NO2 squared. So I need to take the square root of both sides. And that gives me that the partial pressure of NO2 is 0 0.600 atmospheres. 